episode 20 of the Adornets podcast. I'm your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai on Ravelry and Instagram. And there is a shop account for uh, for this podcast, I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Which is Adornet Steph. So how have you been? It's been a little bit longer for you than it's been for me. So yesterday I recorded a marathon, a two hour session of a trip to the frog pond and we went through all kinds of projects and I'm, I felt so good. Like it was overwhelming, at least for me, to talk that long and to make all these decisions. But then I rested and then I went back and I did some caking and whatnot. And oh, I have so many needles free now. I have project bags, all kinds of good stuff. And I have inspiring yarn that I've recaked and like this, I had, this was hidden away for the last like three years on a project that I would never complete. So now I've got it back and I'm gonna work on it. So this is uh, Miss Babs Believable. So there's that. <laughs> um, let me tell you what I have in store for you today. So it's basically gonna be whips and finished objects. Maybe a little bit of boy stories and definitely some coffee. So yeah, I think that's, that's great. Um, should we start with finished objects? Okay. I went, I took Roland to uh, soccer on Monday night and the roads were super icy and I forgot to bring knitting with me <laughs> and Monday night soccer is an hour and a half. So I dropped him off. Well, first I dropped Tristan at my parents. Then I dropped Roland off at soccer and turned the car around and went to Walmart and got some big needles and some cotton yarn because the down cellar studios interception this month was not wool yarn. Cotton is not wool. So I grabbed a couple cakes of this. I knit two of them. I don't know where the other one is. <laughs> Steve might have found it and used it like these do not last, they do not hang around in my house. But yeah, so just the grandma's favorite dishcloth pattern right there. And I had a little bit of the cake left when I was done. So not quite half a cake. And then the other finished object I have ends woven in. I just need to block these. Oh, there's a hair on it. And <clears throat> I'll be gifting them on Sunday. So in case you hear noise, the boys are home today. Uh, they're having a delayed start this morning, and so am I. <laughs> so I slept in, <clears throat> and then I wanted to record. Like, this is my time slot for you guys. I'm going to the garage this afternoon. So I told them they could play Mario Kart while I record. But here they are. These are the pieces of eight mitts. Um... Don't look too closely they're definitely not perfect but i think they're they're nice i knit them on size twos us twos so that was smaller than the recommended needle size um and with my gauge and using fingering weight yarn this is knit picks felici <laughs> fuzz <laughs> this room is fuzzified um yeah using the felici yarn i needed the smaller needles just for me having so I've now knit four individual mitts these two are much closer in size I'm gonna block them a little bit too to make sure that they're really good I thought I could put them on the the leg part of one of my sock blockers but that would work so that's my plan there these are done they're gonna go be gifted my first fo of 2020 and I think it counts towards Crafty Bingo because it's a Christmas gift for someone. It's a late Christmas gift, but still counts. All right. Um, I, after going through all the projects yesterday, I reorganized. I had a lot of things writing together in bags, and I really don't like to do that. So I reorganized. So I think right now I have 10 current whips. It's outrageous the number of whips I have. Um, but I guess there's always something to knit no matter what my mood is. So I'm just looking at what I knit if I knit on these projects 
this past week. Sorry, I probably should have done this ahead of time. But while I'm looking, I can tell you that after going through everything, um, I have decided I'm gonna list uh, some bags for D-Stash, probably on Instagram, maybe on the Ravelry group. We'll see how that goes. Um, just some bags that I've had for a while and they need another good home because they're not in full-time rotation. So you saw this last week, this plow truck, <laughs> plow truck. Um, I think we got like half an inch of snow, maybe an inch of like super fluff. It's nothing. So last time you saw this, I had just started the toe. That seems wrong to me, but that's where my marker is. So I have worked really hard and fast on my Desert Vista Dye Work socks for this month. The colorway is Zombody Loves You. Um, and this is part of the Desert Vista Dye Works monthly sock knit along. You can win lots of things. Like even just the gift certificates, like or coupons 30% off if you do some amount and yeah and then I got an email from her that I had done I think six months so I got a free scan like she's very generous with her knit along so it's January you still can get in on it if you have some DVD yarn that you want to knit up um, so there's my first one my second one look at this guys and it's is it the 20th no it's not it's the 16th and look I have that much of a second sock so just about four rows I think no more than four rows one two three four five five rows to go and this one's done I have been that's how much I knit last night at soccer uh, <clears throat> not much there was lots of chatting going on with the moms but I have been pretty focused on knitting these almost almost exclusively yeah, I mean, I worked on the other pieces of eight mitts, but the socks definitely got the most amount of work. So, oh, my, what is this? This is uh, a baby sweater sleeve that I'm up to. Let me get some more yarn. So I am using some socks that rock. I don't know the colorway name off the top of my head, but there it is. I put some, I really like, you, tell me if you see this, right? You're under the big lights. The socks that rock, I think it's called, I don't know what it's called, worsted or woolen. It must be worsted spun. It's like a, it's got a bit of a sheen to it, even though it's 100% merino or 100% wool. The what's the red this is the red this is the best red I could find and it's got more of a halo so I'm guessing that's more woolen spun I'm not sure but to, to my eye this looks a little more muted I don't know it just doesn't pop the way it did in my head but I don't have excuse me I don't have any solid socks that rock and when I envisioned this baby sweater I really wanted red <laughs> on the cuffs and the collar um, this is the uh, vertebrae pattern and I've gotten that far so I'm gonna say that marker that was flopping around the Valentine's Day heart is where I was last time so that got some love too and moved into a different bag different bag I found so many bags I it was like Christmas, honestly, with the amount of things that I was like, oh, I got this and I have that. And ooh, doo -doo. All right, in here, I know I worked on them. I'm not sure how much you will have seen where I was last time. But uh, this is the rainbow pieces of 8-Mit. So this was going to be for my friend, but I decided that someone else would like it more <laughs> than the first intended recipient so I have the second person in mind and who's more of a color person and here is where I am I have a bit of a challenge with um, it's a free pattern on so basically to make the figure eight you're increasing one side and decreasing the other 
and I have a I'm fine with the increases it's the decreases so I put stitch markers in just to help me with the decreases because if that gets off it's that's I'm assuming part of the reason why I've knit three of these in the coffee break colorway the first pair I showed you because my count got off on the first one and I think I tried to make up for it by adding and that's why they're so long so I want to make sure that these are I don't have to knit four I just want to knit two I think two is the right amount for a standard human <laughs> so that's in there I, I'm I'm missing something guys no I should I maybe I'm not maybe I'm not I've done a half a hex <laughs> we finished watching the witcher last night and I immediately wanted to watch more witcher so I'm glad there'll be a season two I will I've started re-watching from the beginning and I probably will watch it through once more by myself it's not Steve is not a re-watcher <laughs> Rewatcher of the witcher um i got a light a mini light box i it's not i don't yeah it's something micro um i've been having a hard time with the weather lately well we're saying it's the weather i've been having a hard time with motivation and just getting out of my own way these past few days weeks like a couple weeks so before I head to the doctor, I, Steve and I both thought, well, you know, I was, I was fine through December and maybe it has something to do with the daylight or I don't know. So we got a light, a little light thing, 40 bucks that sits on my table. It says sit near it for an hour a day. So I'm doing that right now while I talk to you. And it's a pretty good light source for recording with, right? Um... So that's going on with me. Yeah, I, yeah, I just got to find my balance, you know? It's, we're back into the new routine, back into the routine. So it's like, go to my pool, do my workouts, do what I need to do to stay healthy and active. And, you know, working out always gives me energy anyway. So I need to be on that routine and the shop is chugging along, but I can't, I have put the shop above my fitness and I can't do that. I need to make sure that every morning I make it or not every morning, but my three mornings a week, I make it to the pool. So I'm going to try something different with the shop and just work on it. Like do shop stuff on Monday, Tuesdays and Fridays. So basically I'm giving myself two weekends, right? Cause I normally don't do anything on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm gonna try and shove everything in on those three days. And then the other days I'm going to rest and do stuff for me that's, I mean, I love working in the shop, but I can't so much follow my inspiration, right? If I've got to fill orders or whatnot. So I'm, I'm trying to give myself more time to be creative and let myself just, whatever I want to do and not to feel the pressure of, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do that. Because there's enough I got to do's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with our soccer commitments. But we have our last Saturday soccer done after this. And that'll be great because Tris is not a fan of that. He will still have basketball, but that's like social hour. And he loves it. And I love the mom I talk to during that. I realized the other day that I am very on top of my game in terms of what we need to be signing up for, what activities are happening, what's going on at the school. Like I'm, I feel pretty confident that I am aware of everything and kind of like a community service. I feel like, cause I'm sharing that knowledge and like the moms that work full time, you know, it's just like, Oh, Hey, it's time to do this. It's time to do that to, um, you know, the boy's friend's mom. So I feel really pleased with myself and happy that I'm giving back to other people and making their lives a little easier in just a little tiny way, you know? So, uh, Patriots lost. That was rough, but we made it through. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else of significance going on? No. Steve's going to Denver. I'm sending some baby sweaters for the twins. I didn't knit any. I found two. <laughs> so I'm sending those in the gift box. So they're going to go. Um, 
yeah, the yarn wall's coming along. There's a part right here. Let me see if I can turn it out. I didn't want to show you this, but that's um, still needing to be caked. And uh, my hands aren't strong enough to push those pegs in. Like, I think the part, the particle board, whatever, the pegboard needs, the holes need to be like, they get enlarged when you push a hook in. And <laughs> stop it. And, um, so Steve's got to do it the first time just to make it. Anyways, so I can't do the wall by myself. He has to put the hooks and then I help him put the yarn where we think it goes. And I'm still loving my color flow behind me. I ran out of yarn over here, but I did get some more from my um, trip to the frog pond. So that'll go up on that wall because uh, it's the same dyers and companies and whatnot. So I think that's all I've got. I really, it's not been, <laughs> hasn't been too exciting around here. <laughs> but I, yeah, I'm going to try to set my goals and knit through stash and just chug along this year. So I hope you are doing the same, that if you like goals, you've set some. And if you don't like them, you don't have to set any. <laughs> as soon as I'm done with that DVD sock, I'm going to work to get uh, another pair finished up. And I'm so itching, 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 itching to cast on a sweater. I printed the pattern. You want to see what I'm planning next? Dream knitting. Here we go. Because I can show you that. Well, first I'll show you Roland's trees. Because for some reason that's in here. Where's some blank paper? Maybe I didn't print a picture of it. Oh! The garden gate. You've seen it. I know you have. I obsessively stalk the hashtag garden gate on Instagram. It's so much trouble. It's not trouble. I mean, I love it. But following a hashtag can really distort your image of what people are doing, right? Because I follow all kinds of color work, um, sweaters and color work stranded hashtags things like that on Instagram and so they're constantly coming up for me that might not be what's cool to knit but that's what I'm interested in seeing and drooling over so yeah I really want to knit that and I have some inspiration dye works this is her fluffy base it's uh, pretty similar to bounce by fiber and if you're familiar with that that I'm planning to use. And then, not that, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's over here. And then this is from Toad Hollow. I think that's their name, Crafty Toads. One of the, Sock Toad is the name of the yarn. Their labels are beautiful, by the way. But yeah, it doesn't say their, their brand anywhere on it. Mm. Um, but this, it's the Crafty Toes, to, Crafty Toads, as in Ribbit Ribbit, um, on, they're on, on YouTube, they're a pair of sisters, they're really funny, and they're from New Jersey, I think. Uh, this was their As You Wish colorway, so it's a beautiful, light, light white with uh, speckles of pale blue, pale purple, a little bit of green in there. It's gorgeous. So I think that would be really pretty and make a pretty high contrast for my color work. And then you'll get these blips of blue that'll be just a little bit different. So that's my plan there. Um, it's taking all my willpower not to cast this on. I have told myself I need to finish the DVD socks first. So when you don't knit a lot, knitting a pair of DVD socks every month does take a pretty good chunk of your knitting time. So I'm going to try and knit more. That's what my new life plan <laughs> is going to push me towards and towards more laundry because I'm not so good with the laundry. <laughs> Anyways, okay, uh, that's for real all I have. Yeah. All right. Take care and I will see you in about 10 days or so. No day. Well, two hour delay anyway. <laughs>